Welcome to Sumatra. Somewhere full of incredible nature and unique experiences. Here is our guide on the best trips you need to take when visiting Sumatra in Indonesia. Last night we flew from Jakarta to Medan and we made it here in a five hour taxi <laughs> to Bukit Luang. It was a long day, but the second we arrived, we immediately started loving Bukit Luang, especially it was so worth it. this little riverside section anyway. Absolutely <clears throat> worth it. We've been walking through Bukit Luang. It's such a beautiful area. There's a really cool street with loads of bars and restaurants, a really cool river. And yeah, we wish we had a little bit more time here. Yeah, it's one of those places where second we arrived, we were like, we love this. This yes. is awesome. So the reason we've made this long journey to Bukit Luang is to see wild and semi-wild orangutans. We're here with Sumatra Orangutan Explore and we're gonna go on a two day, one night jungle trek and we're gonna take you with us. I want to swim so bad. I know. It's so hot already. We've literally been walking for like less than 10 minutes, I would say. I'm already sweating, but the views are already here. Just wow. Bukit Luang is so beautiful. A bit closer. Oh my god. But not too close. But not too close. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. So, right now we're really in the jungle. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Oh my god. This is a wild orangutan. He said it's a male as well. A male wild orangutan. It's so amazing to watch them like swing through the trees. How easy do they make it look? They make it look so easy and they're like not, they're not yeah. hardcore trees. They're like really light branches and they're just swinging through them. Wow. It's so cool. It's amazing to see this. So from 1970 to 2015, this national park used to be a rehabilitation center. And the reason it stopped being so in 2015 is because it was a success. They managed to get a lot of the wildlife at least back to a good level and obviously they're still trying to continue to breed, get them to breed and increase those levels but yeah in 1970 they stopped hunting all of the wildlife for you know skins and to sell on the black market and then 2015 they managed to get the population levels back up <sighs> and hopefully we see a lot of those animals today So close we've had to move all our bags because he's right by us. Look at this. He is huge. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, now we're doing some serious walking. We've seen so many orangutans today that we're quite drastically behind schedule. We're <clears throat> somewhere around three or four hours away from the camp, but obviously that's not including a stopping as we see animals along the way. Oh, we've just done some big hills, getting a real sweat on now. It's probably about 1.30 and yeah, it is hot. <laughs> Is 
this way on this little spot. Okay. Oh. You can hear the sound of the water, the river, which means I can actually see it. Oh my God, it means we're getting so close. And I cannot wait to get in because my face is dripping with sweat again. It's actually quite cold. <laughs> I'm gonna go. You ready? Oh, I cannot describe how much I've been waiting for this. <sighs> you ready? <laughs> oh. Amazing. Unbelievable. It's so nice. <sighs> It's time to give you a tour of our five-star accommodation. So right here, we have the kitchen. This smells amazing. The chef is very good. <laughs> We've just been enjoying some tea. And some like a uh, it's like cream crackers, but with so sugar. Really it? sugar. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of good though. Yeah, I like it. And airing out our dirty shoes. <laughs> Very needed. <laughs> and then this is where we sleep. All the clothes hanging up. Because they smell really bad. And it's pretty dark in here. There's no lights. But you get how it is. It's really basic. It's like a gym mat on the floor and the mosquito net, we got pillows. After a long day's walking, that's all we need. We will sleep no problem. Good morning. We are just having our morning coffee. The rain's not so bad. We're hoping it stays clear. We're gonna have some breakfast and get on with today's trek. We're hoping we see more orangutans today. Yes. And we have a really, really fun activity planned at the end. Look at this view! So, oh, so we've probably done about an hour so far and the guys said we had like four or five hours today that we had to trek so We've maybe got three or four hours left. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully three. But we will stop to see any wildlife that we see. Any orangutans or gibbons, gibbons or... Anything. It's what we're here for. Yeah, and it's so amazing. Like when the guide says, stop, put your bags down. It's so much. It's just amazing. Like, and nice to put you the know, bags no, down. And it's nice to put the bags down. Can you hear it? It's the sound of the white-handed gibbon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. <laughs> Oh, you know the words, sing along. You know the words. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying subscribe to Couples Quest. Subscribe to Couples Quest. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> Can hear it. <laughs> We've just reached the end of our trek, which means it's time for the next part. We are taking the jungle taxi, which is basically these big rubber tubes, <laughs> and we're gonna flow all the way down the river back to Bukit Luang. Oh my God, we've just arrived at where we're getting changed for the um, river, and this is the orangutan. our amazing trip with Sumatra Orangutan Explore. What an experience. This has been one of the best things we've ever done. I can't believe how many orangutans we saw. If this is not on your bucket list yet, you need to add it right now.
We are currently standing in paradise. paradise. <laughs> we are going to take you with us today. We're on the island of Sapporo and we're going to go to the other surrounding islands too. We've hired a boat and we're ready to go and see what paradise looks like. This is the Three Sisters, aka a trio of palm trees nestled amongst the mangroves. During high tide, the ocean comes right up to the brew and the trees just poke out of the ocean. It's really cool to see. We came at low tide and we got this beautiful footage of us going through the mangroves instead with our boat and look at this. How beautiful are these mangroves? Stunning. They're just right by the Three Sisters. I feel like I always see videos of people at the Three Sisters, but this is just as beautiful. The water is so calm. We just wish we had a paddleboard. <laughs> This is when I'm at my happiest. Coconut in hand, the beach. We just need the sun to get out of the clouds and then it's perfect. This is so beautiful. How good. How good. Does it get better than island life? No. Island life is my favorite life. Mm, sun on the face. Sun on the face. Sand on the feet. Oh, coconut in hand. Oh yeah. So nice. Today, we're gonna to be exploring the island of Sapporo itself. We're gonna be hopping on our scooter and we're gonna mainly stick to the beaches in the north of Sapporo because the ones in the south, although they look incredible, they're like a two and a half hour, one way trip minimum. And the bike that we've got isn't exactly the best that we've ever had. She's seen better days for sure. It doesn't come with a helmet. So we're gonna be really careful. Mum, I'm so sorry. It's gonna be okay, I promise. <laughs> we are on Jatty Beach and wow, it's so beautiful. There's some really beautiful palm trees over here and some fishing boats. So I think we're gonna head over this way and relax a little bit and enjoy some beach time. Ever so graceful as usual. <sighs> so refreshing and nice in here. <sighs> oh, what a way to spend the afternoon. One thing we've noticed about the Mentawai Islands is when it hits afternoon, you get that cloud. It really sets in. So if you want really beautiful shots if you want to enjoy the sun go sunbathing the morning is the time to do it <laughs> what is our life what is our actual life right now <laughs> look at you <sighs> yeah we're good we're good <laughs> and fred flintstone in fred it fred flintstone in it <laughs> 
We figured we'd ditch the bike because let's face it, it was not great. So we've come back to our homestay and we're gonna head to the beach over here. And we're also gonna grab a coconut and just go and chill for the rest of the day. Look at you. Matt's trying to chop into his first ever coconut. I'm a little bit scared watching you do this, but we'll see. Okay, I feel like you're doing it well. <gasps> <laughs> Found a new profession. My little coconut husker. Oh, that's a bit high. Okay. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> nice. One down, one to go. This coconut is delicious. It's such a good coconut. I think I might have a new profession as a mm. coconut husker. Sapporo has been so beautiful and even though there's not a ton to do here if you don't surf it is still a really lovely stop while you're in Sumatra. We're going to relax here for another hour or so and hope that the weather stays clear. We're going to head back here for sunset later because it's supposed to be really beautiful. Go. Ready to go. <laughs> you look so funny. Look at these monstrosities. They're my new favourite things. You're going to wear them all the time? Yeah. After a very long but very beautiful ride on the long boat through the jungle, we've arrived near, maybe about 30 minutes near where we're supposed to be. And uh, now we're gonna have a little check trek through the jungle. I'm hoping we make it there before dark because yeah, hopefully. the sun's setting now and it's getting a little bit darker, so. It's been a long day, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry too. Isn't this so beautiful? <laughs> Is this like the gate? Yeah, I think so. These are the steps. <laughs> all the chickens in the tree. Hello, how are you? You'd be here a long time already. Oh, <laughs> 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 It's morning of day, is this day what? one or day two? I mean, day one was a lot of travel. Yeah, so yesterday we traveled here, we set off at 6 a.m. and we got here around about 6 p.m. Yeah, it, it was, was a long day. So we're heading into the jungle today so that we can make our loin cloth? jungle clothes. We're making loincloths and the pros just in front of me are leading us to the special trees where you can make them from. Now we've made them soft. We're gonna go turn them into a loincloth. Stand here. Ooh, ooh. Look at you and your loincloth. I may never leave. Do you feel jungly? I've got everything I need right here. <laughs> How you feeling, jungle man? Ready. Ready for battle. To take on the world. After making our loincloths, we went back into the jungle and had a huge surprise waiting for us. We heard a loud noise which the tribe rightly thought was a fight between one of their pigs and a snake. Unfortunately, the snake won, but the tribe managed to hunt it down and we got to see them in action. Oh. 
So the battle is over. They managed to kill the snake and now they will take the skin off here and take it with them so they can turn it into a drum. They said if they would have left the snake here, let it eat the pig and carry on. This pig was one of their pigs, so they were really annoyed about that. But it would continue to eat the other pigs as well, so they need to get rid of it. And they put it to use still as well, and they still will eat the pig, even though it wasn't quite ready and the owner was really annoyed, she was shouting. <laughs> that was wild. After the exciting morning that we've had, we went back to the house, we relaxed for a little bit, had some tea, had some lunch, and saw how they start to prepare the pig, ready for being eaten at a later date. Now everyone's rested up a little bit, we're going back into the jungle, we're actually going to where the boat pulled up yesterday, so that we can harvest a plant, leaf, harvest its root, and then we're gonna make the poison that um, we're gonna use, I believe, for fishing later. So this should be really interesting. So once we'd come across the leaf that they used to start the poison process, the shaman also found the root of another tree. And once these are combined, they're pretty deadly. So they grate them down into really small pieces and they're crushed together beneath two pieces of wood. And from there, it produces this sort of liquid and they squeeze that out into a bowl. Once the liquid is in the bowl, they then put the arrows in it and tip the arrows. And once they're covered, they'll put them in the fire, do the same process again and back in the fire. Once this is done, they have poison arrows and the tribe said that they use this to hunt monkey, boar and deer. This on its own is not poisonous, but once this liquid enters the bloodstream, you have maybe 10 minutes to live, whether you're human or animal. Right now we're going with the ladies to do some fishing. I have my fishing attire on. I have my leaf skirt and my necklace. I'm one of the tribe now. So we're going to head to the river and see what we can catch. This the fish? Oh, like... Tiny. Tiny. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. It's got a little. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot. No. Shell. Part of shell. Oh, yay! <laughs> I got one! <laughs> it was mostly you though. Ah. Good deal! Three, is that Oh no! Oh, oh, oh I lost gone. it! <laughs> <laughs> So we're about to leave this house now and head to another. It's a little bit smaller. The family, there might be three people there. There could only be one old man. <laughs> but if this is anything to go by, we're gonna be welcome with open arms. What an experience. We've absolutely loved day one and we're so excited for day two. If today is anything close to yesterday, it's gonna be <laughs> a crazy ride and we're gonna love every second of it. Let's go. There's nothing better than when you arrive and you're greeted with fresh coconuts. Cut from the tree. Freshly cut from the tree just now. How is it? Mm, perfection. It's so good. We're now at Onsi's grandfather's house and it's kind of similar setup. There's less people here. A few family members have passed away. So it's um, the grandfather and one of his sons that seem to live here. I think a few other people come and go as they please but he has a lot of pigs. And it's kind of cute. This one's asleep. Just chilling. This one. Nice nose. He's so small. And they are eating the sagu tree, which is a pretty popular food here. They cook it and it kind of tastes like, um, kind of like bread. And you mix it with things, you'd have it like instead of rice or something. 
But yeah, we're going to spend the night here. Soon we're going to go out back into the jungle looking for worms and grubs. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, everybody's just having little naps and relaxing after that pretty difficult uh, jungle trek getting here. You're going to eat some worms? No. Maybe if they're cooked. Not the fresh ones. Not the fresh ones. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. For context, this is Alex from the US and he didn't know he was going to come on this trip until a few days ago. <laughs> so we didn't have too much luck with the grubs, we only found maybe four or five but Alex was brave enough to eat one and he said it tasted like buttery nutty porridge so not sure if I'm going to be in line to have that anytime soon but we've come back to the Ummah and Matt has decided to get a Mentawai tattoo. So here he is now getting it done. <laughs> How are you feeling? Not too bad. No? Yeah, a little bit painful, but it's okay. <laughs> you slipped then. <laughs> Now that we're leaving, what did you think of the mental wine? I loved it. Try. It was so good. Thanks, Monty. Thank you. <laughs> it's been so good. What did you think? It's been one of the most unique and crazy and amazing, brilliant experiences I've ever had. For sure. <clears throat> I second that. We usually enjoy the beaches and island hopping, but I think we found something else that we really enjoy, which is so different to that as well. Yeah. So good getting to see completely different. Way of life. But actually way older way of life. Yeah, I'm sure. We're here, we're at the boat. And we're at the boat. Time to go home. No, no one's in the middle one. <laughs> Dib's not that one. Yeah. Thank you for watching our Sumatra travel vlog. This incredible part of Indonesia is full of so much beautiful nature and epic adventures. Join us next week for even more incredible trips. See you soon. <laughs>